Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina and today's pick a card is who is your next relationship? Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right, so we're still sticking with the three piles. Um, well, we're going to do that for the rest of the series because, uh, you know, until my back gets in better shape. Anyway, uh, I'm on the mend. I had a massage last night. A, a friend uh, gave me a back massage and helped work a lot of it out. So it, that helped. It helped a lot. And I'm very grateful to her. Check it if you are listening. Thank you very much. You are amazing. Um Okay, we, we've got, uh, <laughs> we're looking for the next person that we're going to date, right? The next person that's going to come in, the next person we're interested in. And, you know, it might not be your person you're going to marry, but it it's, could be. Um, but we're definitely looking to see, like, just who's, who's going to be stepping up, all right? Pile one, Golden Quartz. Pile two, black agate, and pile three, red jasper. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to. Timestamps are in the description, and uh, we'll get a sneak peek at your person. All right, pile one, if you chose my golden quartz, then let's uh, get some cards for you. Queen of cups, three of cups the moon, king of pentacles, and the sun. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So this is someone who is going to adore you. Someone you're probably going to meet through friends or maybe co-workers, but definitely you're going to meet them when you are like you're not alone. Like you're not going to meet them. You're going to meet them like through a friend or something like that. It just feels like it's like togetherness a community here um that could be co-workers or you know something like that i feel like your person's very stable uh could be older than you um but has financial stability it feels like they're they're established this person's gonna make you happy i don't think you see this person coming or maybe, maybe it's not that you don't see them coming. Maybe it's like you're confused if this is going to last, if this is the one. But I do think that they do adore you. And I think that they're telling you by they, I mean spirit. Um, trust your intuition on this one. If this person makes you feel good, then, then really stick with it and, and go for it. But I, I kind of, I kind of feel like you, this might be somebody you wouldn't have expected to fall for because the moon's here and you know, the moon is cloudiness. It's confusion. It's, you know, it's like the fog, right? When the fog lifts, then you see clearly. And the moon is like that kind of dark, foggy energy. So I think this is somebody you might not be expecting. Somebody you would maybe not expect to fall for or... I don't know. This person's going to make you really happy. So I don't think it's you're confused on whether you should be with them or not. I kind of think that you're going to know that you want to be with them. They're going to make you happy. I love that sun on the end. I, I mean, it's just bringing a lot of hope here to this relationship. So let's get some more cards and we'll, we'll see what else comes out. Seven of Pentacles and Conflict. Well, that doesn't make sense with this. Not with all these beautiful cards. Um, the conflict could be within your he own head, or the conflict could be um, somebody else that might be trying to get in the way. Uh, 
Is it worth it? Seven of Pentacles. Do I stay? Do I go? Is it worth it? I don't know. I was feeling really good about it until these two cards came out. I think they came out because I was trying to explain the moon. And they're saying, well, there's a reason why the moon's here, because there's some kind of conflict here. I still think that this is going to be a beautiful relationship. I still feel like I still have a lot of high hopes for this. That sun was making me feel amazing. I don't know. Let's get more cards. This card's been coming out a lot. You know, whenever I, I, I do these series, you know, I use the same decks for the entire series. One card usually comes out a lot in for each deck. And for this deck, it's definitely been this card. I, I, uh, I've seen it a lot. But anyway, that has nothing to do with your reading. <laughs> but let's see. Let's read the little blurb because I love these little crazy blurbs. Proceed with caution. It's a delicate situation, but that doesn't mean that there's any real danger. Just a reminder that it's time to pause to reflect, to appreciate all that you have now and all that you're about to receive. Okay, so maybe there is some kind of conflict. Maybe this is, maybe there's, this is somebody who hasn't cut it off with someone else yet, or I don't know, but it does look like it might be a sticky situation, but it's going to work out. It's all, it's all going to work out. Hmm. That gives you something to think about, right? Accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So sometimes we block our help by uh, trying to control everything. And this is saying, stop. Let what will be be because we're helping you here. We, we want to bring you guys together. So stop getting away of it. <laughs> get out of your own way. So maybe this is saying, like, let things just kind of develop, let things happen the way that they have to happen or me are meant to happen. You don't need to push. You don't need to control right now that it's going to end up working out for you. Shaman, trust in higher forces. There you go. Again, uh, you know, trust that the angels or whomever. God, the spirits, your, your guides, your ancestors, whomever, that they're working for you, not against you. And they're, they're going to make things work out for you eventually, but sometimes things have to happen in a certain way. So just trust that there's a, there's a plan, right? A higher plan. Cheetah. Get clear on your intention, stay focused, and move quickly to achieve your goal. So I, that kind of contradicts a little bit about what they're saying here with, you know, allow, allow things to, to happen naturally here the way they're supposed to. But what I think that this card is coming in to say is not to contradict that, but to kind of say like when when you know it's your time to make your move, when when it's time to accept, um, like don't procrastinate. Don't be like, well, you know, we were having ish, you know, these issues that we were dealing with now. So now I don't know if this is going to be right for me. This is saying no, stop that. You have a goal. You know that this is who you want. Don't play games. Just. You know, take the opportunity when it's given to you. Let's see. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too harsh because I'm, you guys have to know I'm trying to interpret feelings here. Fertility, potential, powerful, creative energy, intuition energy. So this is saying trust your intuition. Your intuition is going to know when to move and what to do, when to just kind of allow things to happen. Sometimes you just have to let a, a ship sink, right? And other times you have to help that ship along. 
this is the situation where I'm like, just let things occur naturally. And then when it's your turn to like take advantage of what happened, that's when you step up. Um, but you're very fertile, like the fertile, the fertility card is here saying like, things are going to grow for you. Things are going to sprout. Things are going to blossom and bloom. Like things are going to work out for you. Um, so, you know, just, uh, kind of use your intuition to wisely discern what you should and shouldn't do in regards to this person. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Okay. So again, trust, trust that everything's happening for a reason. Action, movement needed. Now we're, now we're back to action. This is like, that's kind of weird. Um, let's, let's get what the book, what Metatron's going to tell you because what number is that? Nine. Um, because maybe they're going to explain it better than I can. All right. Sorry, I unplugged my microphone by accident. I was trying to plug it in all that time. All right. Shift your stance, your mental attitude, and your physical body into new experiences and new territory to meet the people you are meant to meet. Oh, so this is, so those, the cheetah and this card is to help you bring this person in. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. But, you know, you got to change your action or take action to bring this person in, but, but allow nature to take its course. Okay. That makes so much more sense. Okay. Um, you may have drawn this card because you were feeling stagnant, blocked, and unsure. If so, the guidance is to act, move, and create a new forward momentum. Archangel Metatron will sometimes push you, will sometimes encourage you, and at other times, will stand back to see if you can keep going under your own steam. But he will never abandon you. Oh, isn't that sweet? Metatron's, Metatron is a very loving energy. Um, almost Jesus-like, but not, but different. I adore Metatron. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, to be active also means to be healthy, seek fresh air, sunlight, and a body that serves you well. Feel Metatron close to you. Oh. All right, but it starts with movement. Move, walk, run, write, play, create. It's where, why you are here and do it today. So basically they're saying, if you want to meet this person, you know, uh, get out with your friends, like make plans, do things. If you get invited to something, go. And I know sometimes when we get invites, we're like, oh, I just don't feel like going. Um, but if you push yourself, then, uh, you know, you, you, something really great might happen. So step out of your comfort zone a little bit. All right. Okay, let's get some initials. Let's see whose initials this will come out for this person. Who are we going to meet? All right, let's move this down a little bit so I have some room. Let's see these letters. All right, we've got C, E, I saw an F somewhere, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, <laughs> there's a lot of letters here, T, Y, 
y and z. All right. <laughs> Can you even see that y? Not that card. I don't know. But there are your letters. So I don't know if that'll give you a clue, but uh, I think it's kind of cool. All right, Pile One, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. All right, Pile Two, if you chose Black Onyx, then this one is your reading. Let's grab you some cards here. We have Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Death Card, Three of Wands, Queen of Swords. Victory after the battle. This is somebody you already dated. Somebody you might have broken up with. Someone who might have left you feeling out in the cold by yourself. Something that ended with this person. Death card. Somebody you kind of like waited for them to come back. You knew it was a good partnership. You, you knew things would end up working out. Uh, you had clarity on the situation. You know that this is your person and you're waiting for them to come back. So if that's not your story, if there's not somebody you want back in your life, this isn't your pile. Because this is definitely a past person. You're waiting on them to, to come back to you. Yeah, I kind of feel that pretty strongly. And I think it's like... because. You know that that's your person. You know that's the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. And your person might not be ready or they might be scared. They might have caught feelings and pushed you away or something. I don't know. But they are, uh, this is definitely somebody it ended with. Patience, temperance. Have patience, my dear. Yeah, memories, memories of love, the past. Definitely somebody from the past, somebody you never lost feelings for. I mean, even if you were the one who broke up with them, you could have been angry and upset and, and hurt. But this is definitely somebody from the past that you know that they're your person and you want them back and you're waiting on them. Magic carpet. Well, at least that's a good card. Let's see. Number 42. Go ahead. It's your, open it. It's your invitation for a personal magic carpet ride to anywhere you want to go. Jump aboard, my friend. You are on your way to enchantment and miracles. So some magic's happening for you. Something behind the scenes is, is you know, helping you guys come back together. You're about to get a miracle. A new dawn. The worst is behind you. And a positive new experience is on the horizon. There you go. There you go. The worst is behind you now. So this person's coming back. And you're going to be in love. And it's going to make you very happy. Um, and like I said, if that's not your story if that's not some if you don't want anybody back from the past then this is not your reading warrior be fearless and stand strong there you go this is probably why you're waiting for them to return you know or even be fearless like let them know you still want them let them know that they need to come back go get them but stand strong you've got this you can handle this. You can handle waiting. Have patience. Things are working out for you. Grouse. Express yourself through rhythm movement by drumming and dancing. <laughs> okay. I, I should pull this card out because I just it's just kind of silly. I mean, I understand, you know, movement, right? Um, especially when it's um, spiritly spiritually enhanced or um what's it's not triggered it's 
I don't know, when spirit is, you know, coming through you, making you move. Um, it is a very cathartic type of thing. But why they're bringing this out to you in this reading, the only thing I could say is, like, while you are waiting for your person, just kind of, like, release stress, get in your zen, be peaceful, like, you know, maybe you do have to take a, a the spiritual movement class. I don't even know what they're called, but uh, I do some. I do know someone who teaches teaches one. <laughs> uh, I've never taken the class, but I do know someone who does teach those. Um, well, you know, maybe you just go to yoga or something where you could just like kind of get in your Zen waiting for your person to come in. So you're like in the right frame of mind that when they come in, you're going to welcome them with open arms and there's like no tension, no leftover anger or bitterness and things like that. So I think that's what they're just trying to tell you. I think they're trying to tell you to, to find your Zen. No. Oh to find sexuality, making love and erotica. This person, you are going to just have a really great intimate relationship with. It, it's just going to be all that you want it to be. Passion and love and excitement and fun. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Yeah, it is. When things can change for the better, because that's what a butterfly does. They, they, you know, change into, you know, something not so great or an ugly worm type <laughs> caterpillar thing into this beautiful thing with wings that can fly. And so it is a beautiful transformation. And that's what this relationship is going to, to do. It's going to transform into something beautiful and amazing. Madonna and mother. Oh, Madonna and mothering. All right, so number 29. So what does the blue Madonna want to tell you? Actually, it's Metatron, but... Metatron is showing you the blue Madonna why. about feminine energy let's see it doesn't matter what's going on around you or what needs to be done or acted upon all that the blue Madonna is concerned about is offering us a resting place so there you go again find your Zen right they gave me the right meaning for that card all right she sits with our hearts offering guidance support love and to be held in her embrace there's no place for worry, stress, just peace, and being with one with the wider universe. So that's just, you know, they're saying why you have to be patient, why you're waiting for things to transform and your person to go through whatever they have to go through to get back to you. Kind of like just find this place of beauty. Find your zen. Like find your peace. So, um... You're getting help from the Blue Madonna to get there while you wait for your person to come back and you guys can, you know, have a beautiful new journey together. All right, so let's pull you some initials. Let's see if your person's initials come out. I just heard a car door, so somebody might be walking in. The dogs might bark, so bear, bear with that if that happens. Okay, here we go. We have B, C, D. Oh, it wasn't that bad. B, C, D, G. H, I, L, M, Q, R, T, W, and Z. 
there's a U. Then we get to T U T U. Okay, there you go. What do you think? Did your person's initials come out? All right, pile two, that's what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, pile three. If you guys chose red jasper, then this one's gonna be your reading. Let's grab some cards for you. High priestess, king of cups, the Lovers, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. All right, well, let me just say, these are amazing cards. Just absolutely amazing. You are totally going to fall in love with this person and live happily ever after. I mean, you got your Ten of Cups down on the end. That is what that is. That is happily ever after. Trust your intuition on this one. This one is saying, like, the, if you think that this person could be the one, your intuition is absolutely telling you that you are right. This person is a king of cups, someone who is going to be very loving, very generous with you, someone who is, like, you know, about family, who loves their family, who takes care of their family, who's just got so much love to give them. Um... Yeah, we got the lovers, you know, that's a deep connection with someone. That's a, that intimate, beautiful, heart bond type of love. Ace of Cups, it's, this is somebody new. This is something new for you. Somebody new coming in who is you're going to find your happiness with. I couldn't be more happier for you. I could only wish that this was my reading. <laughs> Um, cause that's how amazing it is. Um, so yeah, you're getting a love of a lifetime coming in. It feels absolutely amazing. Let's get some more cards. The universe. Yep. A chapter has ended. It's time to begin a new chapter or it will be ending soon. Uh, a new chapter is on its way. That's that's right. Let's open this book of love, right? And start that new chapter. What's it look like? From my point of view, it looks absolutely like a fairy tale. Like everything I would ever want. So, let's see. Accelerated motion. Eight of wands. Love at first sight. You're going to have an instant connection with this person. Instant connection. I, I have such a big smile on my face for you. I'm so happy for you. Live wire. What does that mean? What does that mean? Number 35. That's probably a connection to source, right? Let's see. 35. When you... Within you is a powerful elixir that can change the world, both your world and the world around you. Scientists call this elixir emotions. You're going to be feeling emotions, that's for sure. But you can think of it as supercharged current capable of taking you anywhere you want to go. Aww. You can use your emotions to suffer or to skyrocket to fame. Good to know that it's up to you. You're going to skyrocket to fame. There's no doubt in my mind here. This is something. You're going to be on top of the world with this relationship. Live wire. That means you're going to be hot. Like it's going to be hot. <laughs> it's going to be adventurous. Um, you got a good one here. That's pretty fun, right? It's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. All right, who has daddy issues? We have father healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. Somebody's got it. Somebody wants to please their daddy. <laughs> I don't know what that... Uh, maybe this person that coming in is like your dad, you know, who emulates your father, has the same type of personality, same type of traits. Um, 
somebody definitely has some daddy issues here. Somebody wants to please daddy. That's what it feels like. Um, I don't know what that means necessarily. <laughs> I don't think I ever had that <laughs> issue um, myself. But uh, that's what they're giving me. Somebody wants to please daddy. So you take that how it resonates. I, it's a little too risque for me to go there. <laughs> Guardian angel, you are not alone. So somebody's looking out for you. Somebody wants this relationship to happen. Somebody is bringing you guys together. How amazing is that? Now look, if you find a white feather within three days, like you're going to know without a doubt that I am speaking 100% to you. And this is your reading. So anyone who finds a feather outside in the next three days, or it doesn't even have to be outside. It could be inside. Sometimes feathers come out of pillows. And, you know, one might just come out at the right time for you to see it. If that happens, you're going to fall in love soon. Goose, take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. This is saying you don't have to keep searching and searching and searching for, for love. Like, it's going to find its way to you. You have a guardian angel looking out for you. They're bringing the, this person to you. Energy field adjustment. Aura cleansing and health. Okay, this is like, you're not believing me. <laughs> you don't believe what I said. You don't think this could happen. Uh, we need to cleanse that energy from you. Get rid of any doubt, right? Any doubt, you have to believe in this. This is going to happen for you. And they want you to believe it. So cleanse your energy. Get rid of your fear. Get rid of your doubts. Get rid of any feelings of unworthiness. Cleanse your en energy to be ready to be the fairy tale for your person as like they're going to be for you. All right. So get right with yourself. Skunk spirit. Know your worth. There you go. Again, get rid of that negative energy. If you are feeling unworthy of a great love like this, we need to release that. Know your worth. You're worthy of having everything you've always wanted. It's here for you. It's in your energy right now. It means it's already there. You could just reach out and grab it. It's just a matter of you getting right with yourself to believe that this is not only what you want, but what you deserve. Metatron Rainbow Bridge, always open. Number 27. Hmm. I wonder what he wants to tell you with that. We know what the rainbow bridge is, right? That's, that's, oh, I don't know. Let's just see. The rainbow bridge is never closed. It is always open and offers a portal through which you can be in touch with those you have loved, but have now passed over. You're it's your guardian angel. It's somebody looking out for you. Are you talking to your like parent who has passed? Or maybe it's one of your f old friends. Or maybe it's um, you know, some kind of a mentor or somebody. Are you are you talking to them? If not, you should be, because they're around you right now, very strongly, very wanting to help you find the love of your life. Um. Maybe it's a, a spouse who has passed. They're, they're wanting you to move on. They're wanting you to find happiness. Don't doubt that for a second. What you had with that person is special and will always be um, between the two of you. But what you can find with someone else can be just as special or even more so. So uh, anyone who has crossed over only wants the best for you and only wants you to be happy and feel loved. So don't let anything hold you back because somebody is really, really looking out for you right now. This is an amazing read. This is, this is like, I think this is my favorite read in a really long time. If the Ten of Pentacles was here, like hands down, <laughs> I would be like, I, I give up because I want to be this person. I want to be you. 
but this is a really good read and you're going to be really happy in the, in the near future and I couldn't be happier for you. All right, let's pull some initials. Let's see. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do that. We have A. D. A. D. E. G. H. K. M. S. T. V. And Y. Alright. There you go. Wonder what initials your person's going to be. All right, Pile 3, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.